Okay, I'm gonna do what I promised. So it is super cold out here and I am doing this because I feel like I should. So um, pregnancy and anxiety. So pregnancy makes your anxiety even more crazy because the hormones are going crazy. The chemicals in your body are changing because you have that little, you know, bean inside of you and it's trying to get all its different chemicals and everything are mixing with yours. And so all this stuff happens. Now, <clears throat> those of you who know, I've had six children. So, um, and my last two children that I had, I had I was pregnant during with having really bad anxiety. I did not know I had anxiety until my, okay, when I was pregnant with my fifth child, I had my very first panic attack. And, and then from there, it just went into chaos. So um, at the very beginning, because I didn't know what I was dealing with, I, it was scary. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys uh, my very first panic attack that I had. Um, for those of you who haven't watched my old video about it. Um, so my very first panic attack happened when I was pregnant. I was about mm, five months pregnant, I believe. Um, and I had laid down. Okay, let me explain. <laughs> so I had eaten some popcorn, um, snacked on some popcorn. Because when I was pregnant, I used to, sn this is going to sound weird, but... Um, I used to snack on popcorn and um, slices of cheese. So it was just a pregnancy thing. <clears throat> anyway, so I had just snacked on some popcorn and I had laid down, take a nap. I literally had been asleep maybe 10 minutes on the couch and I shot up out of my sleep and I was terrified. I could not breathe at all. Um, I was shaking. My whole body felt like it was vibrating. Like, like if you would have put your finger on my skin anywhere, um, it would have felt, you would have felt the vibration. My mom, I told her, I said, mom, you know, look, but when I first, well, that's after I came out of the bathroom. So this is what happened. I couldn't breathe. I didn't know what to do. And I was, I felt like vomiting. Like I had to throw up so bad and I shot out. I went to go to the bathroom and I could not breathe. It was scary. I could not breathe at all. And I went to the bathroom and I threw up, I vomited. <clears throat> I came back out and my, like I said, my skin was feeling like it was vibrating. Like you literally could put your fingers on my skin and it was literally doing this, but the skin was doing this. So I didn't know what was going on. I ended up going to the ER. I ended up calling the ambulance. I called 911. I went to the ER. They, that's when I first was diagnosed with anxiety. They checked me for everything. They checked my baby. They checked everything. And they were like, yep, you've got anxiety. You need to tell your doctor, you know? So I didn't know what the heck anxiety was at the time. And I was like, what? So I went to the doctor. She told me, you know, and then she put me on um, Zoloft. This was a long time ago, okay? My daughter that I was pregnant with at the time is now, um, hold on. <sighs> okay. My daughter that I was pregnant with at the time um, is now 18. Um, she'll be 19 in 2024. Um, and so it's been a minute. It's, it's definitely been a minute. Um, and so basically, um, they put me on Zoloft and, um, but at the time, cause when, when I first had my anxiety when I was pregnant, um, they put me on Zoloft. I was scared to take it because it was a medication and I was pregnant. They told me it was safe, you know, all this stuff, like, like what they say, you know? So I was like, okay, you know, and, uh, Basically, I was having like six panic attacks a day, full blown crazy panic attacks, like what uh, you saw in that video, but it lasted way longer, you know, because it was at the beginning. I couldn't even go outside. I had to stay on my couch. I had to have a fan hitting my bare feet in order for me not to go into panic. Um, I tried, whenever I would try going to the grocery store, I couldn't even do that. I remember going into the grocery store and feeling like I was going to vomit. Um, having to run to the bathroom, vomit, and leave. I had to leave the store with groceries inside the cart, everything, just leave it there. Like, it was awful for me. Um, it was just nonstop. 
And I remember being so scared. I didn't know what was going on. Um, but when you're pregnant, it's even scarier because you have a little baby in there and you're like, what's going on, you know? And, um, <clears throat> it's like when you're pregnant, it like the anxiety is even worse because like I said, the chemicals and everything that's going on, the hormone changes, all that stuff that's happening. And so, um, so yeah, so that's what I went through with my first one. Um, there was a lot. I can say about why I went into that, why I went into my panic attack and everything, which I will talk about later. Um, it was dealing with my environment. It was dealing with my ex now ex husband, um, and everything I was going through at the time with him, everything I had been going through with my two oldest children. Again, a story I would have to share later on, but like, <clears throat> yeah, just there was a lot going on and I didn't know how to handle anything. And apparently my body doesn't react well to stress and I didn't know how to handle stress. So that's what happened. My second pregnancy, well, my sixth pregnancy, my second one dealing with anxiety, I had, I had already figured out that I needed to, I could sip on like, um, chamomile tea, um, chill out, read a book, you know, things like that. I had really learned all those things, but I was still going into panic attacks and things. Not as bad as the first one, because the first one, like I said, I was going into full-blown panic attacks about six times. I'm not even kidding. Six to eight times a day. I could not function. I could not function. I couldn't. I couldn't even get off the couch. Like, it was horrible for me um, until I had her until I had my daughter and then after I had her the Zoloft started acting funny so I couldn't take the Zoloft anymore because my chemicals had changed and so the Zoloft wasn't affecting me the way that it did when I was pregnant so and then I was oh, I was dealing with so much stress so when you're dealing with a whole lot of stress and a lot of bad things going on in the environment around you and you're dealing with anxiety and you're dealing with pregnancy it's going to be so much worse and you have to figure out how to fix that um, whether it be to change your environment, whether it be, you know, whatever, it's just, again, I have to make a, another video dealing with this stuff. Um, I will share what I was going through at the time and, um, definitely be sharing that with you guys. I'll probably make another video, maybe not outside because my fingers are getting frostbit right now, but, um, but yeah, but with my second one, it was easier, but I still had the anxiety and panic disorder going on. And so, but I did learn to do like the chamomile tea, like I said, to relax, to chill, to put my brain into like distract myself with reading or whatever, you know, my good music, whatever music made me happy, you know, things like that. Or, I mean, I had five children. <laughs> so, I mean, hello, you know, um, I, um, I had to focus on them, you know, or watch cartoons or, you know, whatever I needed to do. But I do know that it does suck. Like when you are pregnant, you have to just sit there. The breathing exercises are a big thing. They help tremendously. Um, like I said, chamomile tea always helped me. Um, uh, reading books, like I said. And of course, there's always that thing that you want to snack on when you're pregnant. I know with my number six with my um, youngest child when I was pregnant with him, I always wanted jalapeno poppers. So I literally kept boxes of jalapeno poppers in my freezer and I would just cook them up for myself <laughs> with a side of ranch like all, and chamomile tea. It's freaking weird when you're pregnant. But, um, but yeah, that's what I wanted and that's what helped me stay calm. Um, so yeah, even though I was going through all the chaos I was going through, which I will share with you at another time. <laughs> but the pregnancy thing is hard. And if you have any questions or if you want more detail, let me know and I will make another video going into more detail about all of that. But anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Remember, you're not alone. And um, if you're pregnant, just know <sighs> I've been there, done that six times, twice with anxiety. And you can, you'll make it through. You'll get through it and your baby will be fine and everything's gonna be okay. And you're gonna live, and you're gonna be okay. I used to always freak out that I was gonna die when I was giving birth, you know? And you have all these catastrophic thinking, you know, and the doom, the, that, what is it, impending doom <laughs> thing. And um, I was always checking to see if my baby was moving, and like, it was, your brain just, just stop. Just take a deep breath, calm yourself down. Everything's gonna be okay, I promise. Everything's gonna be okay. 
Whew. All right, love you guys. Remember you're not alone.